Hi guys, it's your boy Overpowered back again with another video. If you haven't already, please make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell so you never miss a video. Today is a, a cricket review on the second test between England and Pakistan. But as you might be aware, a lot of it, about 60% or even more, got rained out. So the only end result that was basically possible was a draw and it was a draw but I will still try to talk about all of the other things that happened so Pakistan won the toss and after a heat wave in the south of England they chose to bat which looked a good decision but before you knew it it was overcast and it was hard to bat Sham Masood the wall in the first innings of the first test was LBW to a beautiful full in swinging ball by James Anderson. But then Azar Ali and Abid Ali built a nice partnership with Abid Ali getting 50. And then James Anderson got Azar Ali out, nicking off. And then Babar Azam came in and played well. But then he got to 47, but then he got out. And then at one point they were around 150 or so, between 150 and 200 for eight, around that. But Mohammed Rizwan hit a very nice 70 and helped the tail and to get Pakistan up to a decent total of 236. But when they got 236, it was already the start of the fourth morning. And then England went in. Barnes nicking off for a duck. A good ball from Shaheen Afridi. Swinging away was against the left up hander. But then the rain came, so there was no more play on the fourth day. And on the fifth day, again, rain disrupted. And it didn't start till around 3 o'clock or so. But Crawley and Sibley built a nice partnership with Crawley making a very good 50. But when they both fell in quick succession to Abbas, England had Root in and Pope in, but Pope got out. LBW to uh, Yassir Shah. And then Root ended on 9 out and Butler and zero, not, not out. And then it was a draw. So the third test starts this Friday, again at the Aegeus Bowl. Presumably both teams will be unchanged because they won't be uh, that tired because they didn't have to play a lot of tests. However, England might bring back Archer. See you in a bit. Peace.